hello guys welcome back to my channel i'm getrid bosibori and if you're watching me for the first time thanks for tuning in so today i'm going to be doing something a little different okay totally different from what i normally do on my youtube channel and it's i'm going to be unboxing and reviewing a mini machine which i got from kilimo and i'll be leaving a link down below so that if you're interested you can purchase it as well and it's quite affordable and it comes in this package and the name of the company is tagwood as it's written on the box and it's uh, as you can see at the box it's written a single bucket washing machine and it's 3.0 ton which i'm assuming is the the amount of clothes you're supposed to put because it's you're supposed to put only three kgs and at the top and at the bottom of the box um they've put styrofoam um just for safety purposes and just a wrap a plastic um wrap and there it is my <laughs> my mini machine and it's my first time ever using or even purchasing a mini machine and it's blue in color it's some people might be worried um it might be too small yeah it's small um depending on the um, type or size of clothes um you want to use but for everyday purposes um in terms of small clothes it's actually very good and you're going to see it later on in the video um at the front as you can see there is the tag wood sticker which i think can come off easily that's why it hasn't been placed well and at the back there is the electric cord which you um, connect it to the power socket to the power and it's um, a UK plug and as you can see um, it has a place where um, when not in use you can just uh, place it back there I think so that it cannot be damaged which actually I found it really good because sometimes one can be clumsy or it might get damaged in water so you can just plug it in back and uh, while I was looking around the washing machine, I was actually curious to know what those plastic uh, three pins were. And when I tried it out, you can actually open at the back. And as you can see that, I think those are the controllers, uh, the electricals that help in um, the machine to work. As you can see, I don't know anything about that. So I just put it back in, but just for you guys to see how it looks like. And you can just put it uh, back to, you can just put it back easily. And this is the, I would I would call it a drainage cord. I think um it helps in draining the water when you're done washing the clothes, and it has a, a hook. <coughs> sorry whereby you just um hook it when the the clothes are still being washed make sure to put it um at the hook when when the water when the clothes are being washed so that um the water doesn't drain off and as you can see there's a blue blue marker at the turning knob um you're supposed to turn the it clockwise so that the machine starts working and it's you you can only put a maximum of three kg clothes um inside the the machine it comes with a spinning a small spinning ba basket um i wasn't sure if it's going to fit anything of my clothes maybe if if you have a uh, baby clothes or tiny clothes uh, it can fit there but th this one is for just wringing out um the water from the clothes and it comes with a lid to ensure that I think the, the clothes stay in place when, when it's ringing out. It comes with a, a, a manual as well and it's in English. So it's easy for you to, you, to read and understand. Um, and make sure to just read it in, um, just for, to just for, yeah, for safety purposes. And this cord, um, I'll show you in a few minutes, uh, it's purpose. As you can see, the inside is quite small, but it's not that small as you might think. And I'll show you later on in the video. Um, at the bottom of the spinning basket, there's some small hooks, and which you just, um, I don't know if it's 
plug it in or just clipping it in in those small holes as you can see what i'm doing and it just helps for for the spinning basket to be more secure when you're putting it the clothes there the only disadvantage is i wish they had put it in the pins in both directions um for a reason i'll, I'll later on mention um, because i had some challenges in that uh, the card the, the card that I mentioned earlier as you can see there are two different shapes on the two ends uh, the one that I'm showing right now is the one you plug it on onto the machine and the other end which is a bit um fatter you put it um in the top and it's the one for pouring water inside the washing machine and if you don't um if the top is not easily accessible you can still use a bucket as i'm going to use here because my top wasn't easy accessible and the cord is actually quite small that's why i wasn't able to use it but the uh, using a bucket it still it still works fine just make sure to pour it carefully so that it doesn't um, get onto the electric cord and make sure to put the water a little bit more than a quarter just a little bit below the name tag goods because when you're putting it clo putting in clothes um the clothes it's going to make the water rise so make sure um it reaches at least half or less than a half of the bucket and you can use um liquid soap or a uh, powdered soap and i'm and i'm using um sunlight a uh, soap a uh, powdered soap to wash the clothes and i just put a little because i wasn't sure how much i'm supposed to to put because it was my first time using this machine and uh, just for demonstration i tried using two dresses and two tops and one t-shirt to see how much um it can handle and make sure to submerge the clothes well in the water before you, you start before it starts getting washed and you turn the knob clockwise and i set it to eight minutes you can set it to eight or ten minutes depending on how dirty the clothes are and it spins clockwise for for like a few seconds stops then spins anti-clockwise again and this video uh, uh just uh, to make sure I, I haven't fast forward in any part of this video so this is the pace um the clothes are being washed it's actually really fast just uh, just to confirm i haven't uh, fast forward anywhere in this video as you can um i noticed the um, the water the clothes aren't being that clean and the soap was very little so i added more soap while it was still washing and as you can see there is more foam being being formed them um after uh, after uh, the eight minutes were done as you can see i tried um using a small basin to to drain the water but the water i wasn't able to drain to be drained all of it because it wasn't on a higher ground so i had to put like a stool so that um it can be on a higher ground and the water can be drained easily and as you can see it's being drained really fast and the water was actually dirty as you can see which is actually a good sign because it shows that the clothes are being washed um the second time i i put a uh, clean i put clean water um for rinsing and make sure to put as well um half of the um, half amount And uh, for the rinsing, I set it for five minutes. And please make sure not to open the lid when the clothes are being washed like I did earlier. Uh, that was just for demonstration purposes so that you can see how it spins.
as you can see there is some water coming out from the drainage pipe um that is why uh, you're supposed to put it on the hook area and make, and that's why you're not supposed to put a lot of water because i think if you put a lot of water it's going to leak out of the drainage pipe after the five minutes are done i poured the water again and i put um a fresh clean of water for the third rinse just to make sure that the clothes um, and the soap has has all come out and for the third rinse um since it was just um there wasn't much uh, to be worked on i just set it for three minutes only And make sure to drain out the water again and make sure to leave the drainage pipe um for for like a minute so that you can ensure all the water has been drained out completely and let it be on a higher ground so i tried experimenting with the spinning basket just to see if it's really going to work because i thought it's going to be suitable for only small or tiny clothes like for baby's clothes and you just hook it on the sm small holes um, at the bottom and i decided to 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 do um the tops only because i thought the dresses would be too big to fit in there so i used the two tops and the one t-shirt and it actually fit and afterwards make sure to put the cap on it this was actually just to see if the water is going to really come out if it's going to wring out the water from it um, the first time i tried doing it as as you will see um it was actually a failure i actually tried like three or four or five times to get it right because as you're going to see um when it's spinning in the clockwise direction um it's spinning well but as it go back, bo goes back to the as it spins in the anti-clockwise uh, motion you find that it leaves the um, it kind of leaves um the the area that it's supposed to be which made it harder for it to and i thought it was a problem that's why i mentioned earlier that i think it was like a challenge for me to get it right as you can see but after um, i think the sixth time i was able to manage to do it because i think it goes back to its its same position and as you can see the water has actually come out um from the clothes and i was actually surprised so uh this new basket it's it's like a trial and errors but i just wanted you guys to see how it works you may decide to use it you may decide not to use it but i'm not sure about it because i thought it's going to destroy the clothes but um the clothes actually uh were dry when i checked especially the the one at the top it was actually dry which i was surprised i was pleasantly surprised and yeah that's it for this video um i hope you enjoyed this video um if you did please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and i'll leave the link again um for this um where i got this um mini machine from and if you haven't subscribed to my channel make sure that you do so and until next time bye